First year of the morning, boys. A little doe cruising through the field. There's two, two more behind her. Uh, you guys can't see them, but we had a massive cold front come through yesterday, and uh, it's gonna be a good day, guys. Coldest day of the week so far. Tomorrow's gonna be even colder. Um, I hope these deer go get the hell out of here so I can get in, because I pretty much have to walk right by them. But oh man, I'm hoping for a good day, guys. Uh, I wanted to let you guys know today, which would be Friday, November 8th, uh, we're going to be using a crossbow today. I hope you guys don't hold that against me or anything. Um, yesterday, after lunch, uh, it just dawned on me. I was like, you know what? I'm going to shoot my bow. Shot it at 20 yards, dead eye. Shot it at 30, and it was about 6 inches high. And I had a, a group of, of arrows that went 6 inches high. Um... I don't know what happened, something's not right, and uh, I would rather not risk uh, wounding an animal uh, until I have this figured out, so I uh, hope you guys don't hold that against me or anything, but it's, uh, it's not my first choice, but it's a good choice, um, it's the right choice to make. Uh, I know I have a, a bow here that is working properly and my compound bow just you gotta have confidence in what you're shooting so right now I don't and uh, I don't want that to, to wreak havoc with uh, my my mind so so looks like the deer finally pushed off um, I might start getting dressed and whatnot and uh, I'll see you guys in the tree
I just got done eating lunch. I think it's going on about 12, 11 30, 12 o'clock. So it's going on 11 30. Uh, had I just stayed in the damn tree maybe 20 more minutes, we probably wouldn't be having this conversation that we're having. And I have a rule for this time, for really any time you're out hunting. Don't leave your damn weapon or whatever you're using to hunt with elsewhere. Always have that with you. How do, oh. <sighs> That's so frustrating. It's my own rule. Like, it's something I've instilled in myself because I've had what happened today happen before. Especially during the rut. I mean, these deer are unpredictable at this point. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. It's just not... It's not a good day. Fall out of the tree stand, set off a buck bomb, which smelled terrific. I, I can't even put the backpack in the truck anymore. I smell like a buck. The people at Wawa today were looking at me like I was crazy because I smell so bad. Mm. That's so frustrating, guys. That's a good buck. I mean... Oh, God. So, I'm just going to keep grinding. The... Like I, I, I'm pretty sure I've said before, that buck was not that spooked. It, it was one of those, he snorted at me and just bounded off. That was it. There was no freak out. There wasn't any of that. It was just like a, oh, and gone. Like, it just didn't seem that bad. We're going to give her hell the rest of the day, so I'm going to clean up a little bit, and I will see you guys in the tree. Just got off the phone with my dad. farm and I'm just gonna apologize now for the wind because it's whipping so I guess that tree we were in yesterday is uh, apparently where he shot the deer I like that spot all right let's go find him that is the killer it had all these saplings they just There's another one that was crooked that had a whole bunch, but yeah. that, you can shoot that like that way. So, I was in that tree and I didn't even pull the bow up for the last 40 minutes. Yeah. I'm like, I'm gonna go on with Eric. And I thought I heard a grunt. I thought I heard like a, yeah. I'm like, I better pull the bow up. No sooner did I get the bow up, I see deer out in front there. And I think there might have been two buck and two doe, at least two doe. And don't they come right here, right to this grassy thing? I mean, it happened like split second. Yeah. I said, deer, 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 deer. Put the bow up, man. Boom. Oh, your error. I didn't want to go push it. Yep. 
Definitely a pass through. Oh, of course. Definitely passed through. So where did he turn around and run that way? Like this way. Okay. Right through this. But I do not see any blood. There was three or four deer here. It was difficult. Yeah. After I shot, they skedaddled. I remember seeing the deer going out all in the mail and making a circle. yesterday. This one? This one. No, not that one. That one back. With the Chinese vine on it. I was looking at that one yesterday to climb. That tree I just did. Yeah. You got that whole thing mm -hmm. over there. You got this. Yeah, yeah this and is right that. where I was standing yesterday. That came from that way. Yeah. Twelve o'clock. Huh. There's no blood. There's no blood. circle and then I heard pile up. He <laughs> probably ran by that's the tree we were in yesterday. He ran right by here. I watched the binoculars out there in the field. He just went out a little bit made a circle and, but he was freaking hauling the mail and then I heard him pile crash up, pile up okay and the only way you're gonna hear him pile up is if he, he went back into the woods if he's back in what do you want to just walk the edge of the field and see if uh, we can see him he's down that way. now that way is private property yeah we don't go on there unless we get authorization to do that. I did. He freaking went right back down into that corner. Oh, there he is. Yep. That's the one I seen yesterday. Last night? No. Nope. It's the one I had in here yesterday. I videoed this one yesterday. This is the one I drew back on. Eight? Seven? Seven pointer. I 
Maybe one right through the pump house. Yep. Lungs. See some bubbles there. What is this, 5C? County, Berks. We're gonna go head uh, to my parents' house now and uh, hopefully get to show my son the buck. Shoot him! Uh, Papa. Shoot him! Well, Papa shot him. 